Yo guys, what is good in the hood and what do we have here? People keep advancing the way characters work, or not people, but BMG, and as a result we're left with characters that do way too much, but I guess at this point it's fine because it's a, it's a spear character. And as you know, um, I'm the best spear player in North America. I, I don't like saying that, I, I hate saying that, but that's the case. So. The servers are offline, so for now, I'm just gonna lab this character out and see what we find. What I'm trying to figure out, though, is why does the D-Sig have a hitbox? You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna give a spear character six signatures at the same time, you should probably get rid of that. I feel like it's just a bit overwhelming considering how many sigs this guy has. No worries about it being true, though. Thankfully, anyways. And then sidelight unsig without the mode is three frames shorter, but that's fine too. This hitbox is kind of crazy for a mode switch. You could kill somebody while they're mode switching in like dark red. The unsig already can be. I can definitely. I can definitely see this being really hard to punish. But that is the whole point of the sig. But make sure it's a bit smaller if you're gonna keep that. Alright, so, unfortunate news, T-Light Ensign is true, <laughs> T-Light GC Ensign is true, that is awesome. Damn it! I know we're on Small Ball Haven and everything, but Jesus. What about the mode? That's definitely killing earlier, right? 120? Okay, so, T-Light GC Ensign on Small Ball Haven kills at 120. That is terrifying. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, I do preach about new characters having new mechanics, but this is like, this is like the bane of it. I think that this makes this character so much more broken than he has to be. Okay. That's 120. And on dash impulse, it hits from way behind, but I think we're still clear? Yeah, it's just barely killing on the side. <laughs> from, <laughs> from the other side of the screen. Jesus, these things are strangely hard to punish for a 2 dex character. That is, mm. like, I don't mind. I don't mind if the startup's low and the actives are high. Just make sure that it has slow recovery. It'll just be like if 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 somebody's not confident, they'll, they'll use the fire mode to just throw everything out until they're safe and then just go for the mode switch and then go for something crazier. Training. Now I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. I completely forgot about the cannon part because the the spear is just so important when we're discussing seven. Anything important about this person? <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea if it's a if it's a she or a he. I got confused when we were talking about Onyx and Mako like a while ago. Okay, it actually has decent recovery time. Like it it, 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 it can actually be a lead guard like move that is very and that's relatively simple to punish. So I won't I won't be worried about it too much. Now Insig. I'm honestly kind of surprised they didn't give it the same treatment as side as end sig or as side sig and just give it like the same like active active hitbox at the front, but it's fine I suppose. So if you were to go for GC D light, and well you've kind of already done that and you could always just you could always just have this around as like an extra option. It doesn't kill, thankfully anyways, but. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's really convenient. You're gonna be using it all the time anyways, so you're chilling. I can tell this character might actually just be a nightmare in twos. It's really cool though. Wait, this is actually an insane... Like, this is an insane stack punish, actually. Or near stack punish, I mean. Is it? No, never mind, it covers stack. That is really... That's actually not the worst. It transitions into there, which is, makes it even more interesting. Because it just makes this character so perfect. It just added like several different mechanics and just have the cannon around as like the as like the, the cherry on top. 